Hello and welcome to Make and Drink. My name is Derek and today we're going to make some clear ice. We're going to make clear ice using two home methods. The first is using a cheap igloo cooler. I picked this one up for $15 a while back and while it's close to $30 now on Amazon, you can find it for under $20 elsewhere. The second method is the clear ice mold. I found this one on Amazon for $35. I've tried just about all of the Amazon molds, including this one, this one, and this one and I found that none of them did a very good job. Without getting deep into the science of ice and crystal structures and gases, what we need to understand is how ice freezes and how to achieve clear ice. Water is full of gases and impurities, and in your standard ice tray, as water freezes, the impurities are pushed to the middle. That's because in a regular ice tray and in your home ice maker, all the sides of the ice are freezing at the same time. Now to achieve clear ice, we need something that is insulated on all sides, but has an opening on the top. Okay, let's fill these up almost all the way to the top with just regular tap water, put them in the freezer, and then wait at least 24 hours. Depending on the temperature of your freezer, it could take anywhere from 24 to 36 hours. All right, so it's been 24 hours. It might take 36 hours depending on your freezer. And we now have a block of frozen ice. Now about half to a third of this container will still be water. It hasn't frozen all the way through and that's fine. I've actually cheated a little bit and I emptied out some of the cold water in my sink. I put a sheet pan here to catch any of the excess water. What I like about the igloo cooler is it comes out pretty easy. These hard sides aren't that rigid so you can kind of pull on them to try to get that piece of ice out. And this is where the cold water would normally be, but like I said, I didn't want to make a mess here. But before I uh, proceed to do anything with this ice, I just want to clean up some of the edges here that we're not going to use. All right, the two tools I'm going to use for this is a mallet. Uh, you can use a hammer. You can use anything heavy that you can hit a knife with. And then just a cheap sort of affordable kitchen serrated knife. If you have a really fancy one, I would try to skip that here. Uh, this is a 10 to $15 Mercer you can find on Amazon. So I like to just start with the mallet and just... We're not, we're not carving nice right now, we're just going to clean up the edges to give us a more uniform solid block. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for right now. I have this block of solid, frozen, clear ice. And before we start carving on this, we actually need to let this rest. This ice is colder than freezing. It's whatever the temperature of your freezer was. So it's probably around zero degrees Fahrenheit. And if I start cutting into this now, it's just going to shatter. So what we need to do is temper this to bring it closer to room temperature. I'm going to leave this block on a separate sheet pan alone for one hour. So it's been an hour and now we can carve up this ice. Um, when you're working with something this size, obviously you want to be careful. Um, I have my sort of cheap serrated knife, a towel, and a mallet. And the first thing I want to do is if there's any uneven edges, clear those up. Now this specific block of ice has these little ridges, which is from the ice chest. So I just clean those up. You really want to have a knife that's nice and flexible as well. All right, so the first thing I want to attempt is to just do some nice cubes. That would be for a drink like an old fashioned. And to do that, I'll get out a glass just so I can kind of eyeball about how big I want it to be. And what you do with these is you're going to score it on all four sides. We're going to score this maybe to get about a centimeter through but if you try to cut all the way through on this side, you're just going to crack the ice. All right, once it's scored on all four sides, just put your knife back in the groove and tap it. And it's not exactly perfect, but this is where you can come back in. And if you really wanted to try to true up these edges, And then you can play with that all you want. 
So I want to make a square here. Even when they're not exactly square, these still look really cool inside of a glass. So we have our first cube. Like I said, if you want to go through, you can clean these up even more inside the glass. Another thing great about these blocks is you can make spears. They're great for things that go in Collins glasses, like a Tom Collins or some type of mule drink. So I'm gonna take a Collins glass. So it looks like it's just a little too tall, but I like the thickness here. So I'm just gonna try to cut off a spear. I'm gonna use this edge. I already have a straight edge from the cooler. That's pretty good. We have a nice clean side. Score some of the bottom. Clean it up a little bit. Shaving off some of the edges so it fits in our glass. There you go. Carving ice from a block is not something I enjoy doing, and I much prefer an easier way. And luckily, I was able to find that ice mold. So the ice molds, um, silicone ones, they do not need to temper, but you could let them sit out for a few minutes just to defrost so they're easier to get out. One of the reasons I love this brand right here is because even when it's frozen solid, it's really easy to get out. There you go. It's that simple. These are two inch ice cubes, crystal clear. Having one that holds 12 means that each day I can do it at the same time. I just open up the freezer, take out the one I put in the day before, and by the end of the week, you have dozens and dozens and dozens of ice cubes. Here's a fun little trick for you if you need to get ice um, kind of flatter on one side. You can take any metal sheet pan or stainless steel pan or even probably a non-stick pan from your kitchen. And you're gonna have sides that aren't nearly as clear. If you just take a piece of metal, Your ice cube is going to start melting and then you have a nice clear side or if maybe the top that uh, was on the top of the freezer is not uniform enough you can do the same and if you go back to the ones that we cut from the big block you can do the same here and you just have a more uniform flatter side there you have it clear ice at home I hope this opens up your world to the ease of making your own clear ice at home. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one.